Hello, everybody. All right, more and more we get into this, uh, get in the higher technology, the more we're seeing drones part of everyday life. Uh, drone pilot rescues Texas flood victims. It was the coolest thing I'd ever seen. Uh, Bill Kastner's wife, Tracy, uh, on May 25th, heard a loud clanking. Um, trapped on all sides by water with their cat and five dogs. The castle's dialed 911, waited for help. They didn't expect that help, or <clears throat> they didn't expect help to come uh, in the form of a drone nicknamed Valkyrie, operated by software engineer Joshua. Uh, Fire Department volunteer, uh, Garrett, uh, Beryl. Beryl 43, a drone hobbyist for three years, offered his services to the rural fire department six months ago when he realized that his quadcopter could make a life-saving difference when people needed to be found quickly. He said, I'd used it before to assist in fires and find gas line leaks, Beryl tells people. But this was my first swift water rescue. Using his drone, Beryl delivered life vests and safety lines to the castles, which Bill attached to a beam on, the, on his house. Uh, the other end was then hooked to the bumper of a fire truck, and a rescue by lift was attempted. They got close in the end, it was too dangerous. They were worried about knocking over the stilts on our house. Uh, yeah, their house was actually supported by uh, stilts, and it was actually raised to be immune from the from the uh, water levels. Well, nothing, nothing is immune from Mother Nature, and thusly they were flooded on all sides. And anyways, this is what had to happen. It's scary to think that we might have had to leap for our lives or have been washed away, he said. Knowing that we had life vests and safety line made a huge difference. Watching that drone come in was the coolest thing I'd ever seen, the pilot said was no rookie. So, basically what happened was the fire department in the area had enlisted the help of a uh, hobbyist that worked in the uh, quadcopter FPV uh, industry, or he was a he was a volunteer. But I don't I don't think he got paid, but they enlisted his services nonetheless, and he was able to from the size of the drone that I saw, which was probably a couple thousand dollars. Uh, he was able to actually tether the line from the um, fire truck, I believe, to the drone, take the drone over to them, and from that they were able to send like life vests and various things of that nature, I imagine. I don't see that quadcopter in any capacity being able to hold the life vests or anything really above 10 pounds, but I could be wrong myself. Um, as I know, Amazon and various places are looking to carry packages, the more expensive drones can probably lift a small dog 25 pounds or so. So I don't think it was a challenge for them to lift that rope, but I I just don't think that uh, that those guys would have made it without them. And I was very happy to hear that um, the drone operator um, allowed his services for this sort of thing. Uh, I'm not recognizing that exact drone, although it does not look like it was handmade. Um, I'm not recognizing, and let me just show it one more time. I'm not recognizing the model. Um, I am slowly trying to get into the hobby just for the heck of it, just because I heard FAA and others are going to pretty much kill the industry uh, due to security concerns. So I thought I would at least get into it for a little while before they actually ban everything altogether. And um, I'm actually getting ready to order an airplane uh, instead of a quadcopter because of my budget, which is very limited. I need something I can take 
apart and put back together. And this airplane allows the um, technology. Uh, one of my cats just jumped in the window. Um, allows the technology to do just that. Um, I won't say what it is or anything until I get it. But someone said, you know, you better get something that's all the way together for something you don't have to buy a dozen pieces for. That way you're not wasting your money on extra things that aren't necessary like servos and various things of that nature. And he says, buy the package, make sure it flies, and then when you crash it and got to repair it, learn how it works. Go from there. Whether it's quadcopter, whether it's an airplane, do that. And uh, I'm actually very happy to see that this hobbyist uh, was able to service this uh, fire department. Um, to me, this is this is a technology of the future. Um, if the if the police have it, honestly, uh, have the tech for doing fairgrounds and stuff like that, uh, going around the fairgrounds and everything, the fire department should already have the technology. Um, that's my opinion. I think it's a valid opinion. Um, for just such occasions like this. I mean, the firemen are supposed to be, you know, the hardened badasses that'll jump through the fire, and the police are supposed to be the guys you call when, you know, this and that happens, and you, you, you get the idea. But if one group has it, they should all have it, just like I believe that there should actually be, that they should actually put the fire and the police and all the EMT guys together, but it is what it is, and that part of my opinion isn't necessary at this point. But anyways, thank you so much, guys. Thank. One second. Thank you, guys.